Hello, this is Joe Woodward, Chief Engineer of Simulation Support at PADT with a little tech tip. We had a tech support question come in asking how can you check the tangency of all your surfaces? So I think most of us know if you select a surface, double click on it, it will select the tangent surfaces. Uh, but clearly this, these two surfaces are not tangent. Uh, the selection is coming up this way and then up following the tangency along this way. So if we want to check the actual tangency of surfaces, that's where the uh, dihedral tool on the measure tab comes in. So on this tool, you can only select edges. If you select an edge, it's going to give you the, the minimum and maximum dihedral angle, which is along the edge it, at many points it's taking the angle between the two surfaces so when it's zero they're tangent uh, when they're 90 or close to 90 in some cases what looks appears to be 90 may be a little off okay, so we can check that way on a small part like this checking all your edges uh, it would be tedious on a large assembly uh, it'd be almost impossible so to do this systematically we turn to space glade scripting so if I say new script, and I've written a script just for this occasion. So it comes up looking for space claim scripts. It'll also read Python files. We can open this guy up. Now, uh, I was writing this in 2020 R2 for the customer. I did check, and in 2023 R1, you can now import NumPy, which has its own functions for finding angles between vectors. Uh, in older versions, you couldn't import NumPy, so I ended up writing my own. So uh, just to find a quick function to get the angle between the normals, any two vectors that you're, that's given, and then another function to do the dihedral angle. So uh, at any edge, it will get the surfaces from that edge and then get the normals uh, at a point. We'll go through a, an interval for the number of points and then calculate the, the and return the max and min dihedral angle just like the uh, the tool does. So one thing we, you know, we're looking for, for edges that are non-tangent, uh, something like this where it goes from zero, it's tangent down at this end and then almost 90 up at the top. Uh, so I put in this angle cutoff. So anything where the minimum angle is above that, we can see. You know, we can tell these guys are not tangent. Uh, here, we can kind of tell that's not tangent. So uh, I believe that guy's, you know, 45. So anything higher than that, you can modify this. Uh, and then the number of points to check along each edge. So if you download this script, uh, if you want to see what's going on, you can uncomment these two lines. Uh, it runs faster if, if you leave those commented. So if we run the script, it's going to go through and cycle through everything and then gives you selected the lines that are not tangent. And you see in this case, this little face over here is not tangent with the others. So if I just click that one's six degrees off that one's 11 degrees off and if i had uh, if i had rotated the part when i selected that we'd actually see that it didn't get selected but in some cases you know maybe this is uh maybe there's another radius here that would have been tangent and these would have been selected and we'd never know that that this face was not tangent with the others so uh the script also gives you some selection logic so if it's if you just pick on a part or on a body and run it, it only checks the edges on that body. Same with script or uh, same with components. If I do select a set of surfaces, then it will only check those edges on those surfaces. So one last thing I wanted to show was that a lot of people may not know is that especially for a script like this that, that can be used on any part and, and you just want to have it handy, we can publish this script as a tool. So this button here, we can usually publish as a group, which will um, tie, the, tie the script to this part, and that script gets run each time the part is, is updated. But if we publish it as a tool, then you click that, you give it a name, tangency check, and now that tool is there. I should have put a description because then that description shows up in the little box there. So once you have that, it'll go through and run run the script so that this these tools stay in space claim. So if I close down this part, reopen a new part, add something in, that button's always there for me to use. 
So this script will help you find uh, hopefully any potentially problematic uh, edges and surfaces in your model. Happy hunting.